Hello and welcome. I am Niaba Bernard from Team TechDom, and in this video, we will be looking at the assignment statement. An assignment statement consists of an expression which is usually on the right hand side and a variable which stores the result of the expression once it has been evaluated by Python. In this example, we have our expression to be 2 plus x minus 3 and it's on the right hand side as you can see. We also have the equal to sign which is our assignment operator and we have the variable x on the left which stores the result of this expression over here. At this point you notice that we have a variable in our expression x. Well this variable x here and this variable x will be doing different things. In our expression the variable x is storing a value and that value that is being stored in x is going to be used here to perform this calculation and once this expression has been evaluated by python um, the result is going to be stored in this variable x so at the end of the day the variable x is going to be updated so at the end of the day the value stored in x will be updated to the new value which is the result of the expression here over here we have the initial value stored in x to be 4. Now in our expression, Python is going to use 4 where it sees x like this. The result of the expression is going to be 3. That's 2 plus 4 will give us 6. Then once you subtract 3 from it, we're going to get 3. Now the value in the x variable will be updated to 3. So after performing this calculation, the value stored in x is no longer 4 it's now going to be 3 3 is the new value of x let's try this in our ipython console so let's set our variable x to have an initial value of 4 okay we can see over here 4 is the value um now if we print x we get 4 so 4 is the value stored in our variable now now let's get the assignment statement x equals to plus x minus 3. I'm going to run this and if you look up here you can see that the value has been replaced by 3. So I'm going to go ahead and print this let's print x to see what we have. We now have 3. So this is the assignment statement where we have an expression on the right hand side we have the variable to store the results of the expression and we also have that assignment operator which is the equal to sign so you can play around with this and try different expressions and see what you get thank you for watching please like the video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't see you next time